Thank you, Jesus. We enter into your presence. Lord, we come before you that we may obtain mercy, O oh Lord, and find help in the time of need. Father, do your will upon us by your word. Let your word flow like rivers of water. Let every testy soul be quenched this moment. Let every life that is dry be wet before you. Let yokes be broken. Let your hand be lifted over our lives. Take all the glory, Lord. Lift your hands and say, Lord, take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all power and all majesty. We ascribe all greatness unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for the Lord. And be seated. Hallelujah. Whatever battle going on in your life, you are empowered to win. Give God a clap offering and claim it in the name of Jesus. Now prophesy to your neighbor, say whatever going on in your life, you are empowered to win. In the name of Jesus, declare and prophesy to yourself, I am empowered by the Holy Ghost to win this battle. Say it again, I am empowered to win. The testifier said, and I was prophesying. And I saw the tongue cover the mouth. And I saw it return to the sender. Whatever that you have seen in the spirit, God will bring it to pass in the physical. Say with me, I'm empowered to overcome every challenge. Lift your voice and declare with me, I will not lose this battle. Whatever battle going on, there's a prophecy. That whatever battle going on that you don't understand, Whatever battle going on that you don't understand, you are winning the battle. Claim it now. I'm winning that battle. I'm winning that battle. Whatever you don't understand, whatever invisible warfare, whatever invisible warfare going over your life, going over your home, going over your marriage, whatever that wants to disgrace you, you are winning that battle. You are winning that battle in the name of Jesus. I release this moment by the word, the empowerment to win. Say with me, I am empowered by the Holy Ghost to win. One of the grace of the supernatural is to win, to overcome, to triumph, to claim victory, to escape the edge of the sword of the wicked. Whether they be visible or invisible, we are not victims of satanic will in Jesus' mighty name. I ask that the word of God go forth to the four corners of the earth, bringing divine judgment, bringing healing, restoration, and power into every life of the hearers in Jesus' mighty name. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. God's word revealed by Paul, the apostle, he opened up his heart, speaking, now thanks be to God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ, and make it manifest the server of what is knowledge by us in every place. Lift your voice and say, my victory will bring testimonies and testimonies and testimonies. I see God giving people victory through your victory. Give God a clap of him and shout amen. amen. Now lift up your voice and shout it now. Say now. Thanks be to God. Say it again now. Thanks be to God which always caused me to triumph. In Christ Jesus, making manifest the power of the Savior and the knowledge in every place, in every field, in 
every field, in every field, all the plots of the wicked. You will never know how the devil hates progress until you make progress. Hallelujah. A little progress. The devil can manifest in different forms, but thanks be to God who always, so with me, always. He gives us always. First Corinthians 15, verse 57. Paul speaking again, he giveth us victory. Hallelujah. Somebody say, gives me victory. But thanks be to God, which giveth us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody who is ready for victory, say with me, thank God who give me victory through Jesus Christ. Say with me, I'm empowered for victory. I'm empowered to triumph. Hallelujah. I'm empowered against all odds, against powers of darkness. Ephesians 6 verse 12 opens us and reveals to us the kind of enemy on our way, the battles on our way, the challenges that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So leave all these human means, but against principalities and powers, rulers of darkness of this world, it's against spiritual wickedness in high places. And one of that which we deal with constantly in Africa is the rulers of darkness. Witches and wizards are rulers of darkness. They are not principalities. They are what? Rulers of darkness. Hallelujah. Marine spirits are all rulers of darkness. And they come into families subtly. They come in and you know, they come between you and your landlords. They come, as I said to us last Friday, that one of their uh, uh, grace is to intimidate you. They are called intimidators. And their motive is based on envy and hatred. So most times you don't have a you don't have a, you, 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 you know, you, 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 you may not be guilty. You may have done nothing. But just that somebody envies your progress. Spirits are manipulating. Demons are manipulated to bring that one down. Tonight, I decree by God's mercy, somebody is overpowering the will of the enemy. If I hear you, let your amen resonate. We believe in the power of God. Declare with me, I believe in the power of God. Psalm 59 verse 16, David believed. David said, I will sing. Psalm 59 verse 16, David said, I will sing of the power. But I will sing of thy power. Yea, I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning. For thou had been my defense and refuge in the day of trouble. Somebody read aloud with me if you can. Want to go? But I will sing of thy power. Yea, I will sing aloud at thy mercy in the morning. For thou art been my defense and refuge in the day of trouble. Give God a hand of praise. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 the Bible says in the book of Acts of the Apostle Hallelujah, Jesus on mission. He said, But ye shall receive the power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, in Judea, and in Samaria, and in uttermost part of the earth. You are born by the Spirit. You are born by who? You are a newborn spirit. You are you, you are not you are, you are not carrying that old uh, 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 soul, the old conscience, the old knowledge. We don't live by human psychology. We live by the, the Spirit of God, by the Word of God. For us to understand that He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Ezekiel 11, verse 19, He says, uh, according to His Word, He says, And I will give them one heart, and I will put a new spirit within you. And I will take the stony heart out of the flesh and I will give them the heart of the flesh. Praise God. I will put a new spirit. When we are born again, 
our spirit is a newborn spirit. Can I hear an amen? And that's how we are. We have a newborn spirit. You will never lose any battle in life anymore. Because it takes the spirit of God in us for us to manifest God. When Adam was operating, having dominion, hallelujah, ruling over all the earth, Adam was a spirit. Adam had authority. Adam had that very image of God in the spirit because God is a spirit. We need a new beginning and we need to begin to develop this new spirit and make this new spirit filled completely. We need to enhance our level of the word of God so that we can have a higher command of the supernatural. Lift your voice and say, Father, I want to have a higher command of the supernatural. Because we don't, we, we, are, we are not going to be a victim to the enemy. Demons and powers of darkness and influences of the enemy, they have taken over the earth. They have done what they can do. Every day, there are enchantments, divinations, and sorceries. All sorts of diabolic powers. But for us to command the supernatural, we need the spirit of God in us awakening. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. Paul writes into the church, 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 18. Open our eyes. He says, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Go further to 19, glory to God. And he went further to say, quench not the spirit. Everybody say with me, quench not the spirit. Because when the spirit is quenched in you by sin, when the spirit is quenched in you by unrighteousness, the power to command the supernatural cannot manifest. You become a victim to the elemental forces. You become, a, you, 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 you are, you, you, anything can rest on you. The power of God cannot manifest in you, but we have that power. Lift, declare with me, I have the power. Lift your voice and declare, I have the power of the Holy Ghost. Verse number 23 of that same verse, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 from verse 23. Let's look at verse 23. It says, and every and the very God of peace sanctify you holy. Somebody said, the very God of peace. Sanctify me what? Holy that, and I pray your whole spirit and what? soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus. Somebody say your whole spirit. Your whole spirit sanctify you holy. Now what is he saying here? Somebody say my spirit, my soul, my body be sanctified. For you to command the supernatural. For you to manifest the supernatural. For you to rebuke the enemy and tell the devil get out of here and the enemy leaves. You need to be sanctified. And how do we get that? The word of God. The word of God that we take in sanctifies our spirit man, cleans our spirit man. And the Holy Ghost, through the blood of the Lamb, purges our soul and our heart and our body so that everything we are addicted to, everything that is hanging in our soul. Now your soul is where your memories. That's why it's when, when you are addicted to something, your soul has been tied to it. So even when you don't want it, your body will be walking towards it. Lift your voice and shout, I'm released. Say it again. And when the Bible says, let the spirit of our sanctify, I make you preserve you blameless. Blameless. Verse 24, he went further to tell us, hallelujah, he said, faithful is he that has called you who also will do it. Somebody say, faithful is he that have called you. He will also do it. Hear me? God, when, the, when you hear the word do, do it means action. Whatever action required in your life, God will make it happen. Lift your voice and say, God will make it happen. Tell your neighbor, God will make it happen. Say, he's faithful to make it happen. Say it again. Sarah was confused when the angel said, you will carry your baby. Ah, how can I carry my baby? When I don't even understand, God will make it happen. 
when your spirit is speaking, God will make it happen. Mary said, I don't know how can this be. I don't know any man. She said, the power of the highest will come upon you and make it happen. Give God a clap of it. Somebody say it will happen. Shout aloud, amen. He will do it. So what do we need to do to have a command of the supernatural? We must begin to see and seek God doing things in our life. That means our spirit must not be feeble, weak. Our spirit should be alive, washed, sanctified. For your spirit to be sanctified. That, that's why we wake up and we wake up with the word of God. Word of the day. To sanctify your spirit. If somebody insulted you yesterday. If somebody provoked you. Somebody annoyed you. And you were to wake up and carry bitterness. It disappears from you. Give God a clap of it. Lift your voice and shout. I'm winning today. This is a new week. Declare I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. When you overcome bitterness. You are winning. When you overcome what? Unforgiveness, you are winning. When you overcome temptation, you are winning. When you overcome the trick of the enemy, you are winning. And that's how it will go. And that's why we must build our spirit. The book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 20. Jude was speaking, uh, the apostle, and was opening the eyes of the saints to building up their spirit. He said, build up your most holy faith. He said, but ye, beloved, building up yourself in the most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost somebody say building up say with me building up your most holy faith pray in the Holy Ghost you need to build up because you don't know what will face you tomorrow you don't know who will be used sometimes when we when the devil use people who are so close to us who we so love who we so respect who we so think nothing can come out of them he can even use children he can use anybody Sometimes you see only two people in their room and they're already. Nobody has entered there to say anything. But the devil brings misunderstanding, brings confusion. But I see you winning. Build up your spirit so that you can take authority over every power of the enemy. The more robust your spirit, the more command you are in the spirit realm. The, the more robust your spirit, the more command you have in the spirit realm. So the devil cannot just whisper anything and you fall prey to it. The devil cannot blow a wind and you just follow the wind. A few years ago, a young boy was just walking down from the university campus and uh, he saw another friend in a car. He didn't know where they were going and they just, he, and, and they just beckoned on him. And he joined them. Unknown to him, they had guns in their car. And they were being looked for. He just joined them. Oh, where are you guys going? He just jumped out. But he didn't even have an idea what he was doing. As they got to the gate, they were stopped. Arrested and searched. They found three guns. And they asked the arm robbers, the boys, what is going? They said, look at him. His father is the one sponsoring us. Got his family messed up, he got himself messed up. He can't even tell how it happened. It took almost six months for the truth to come out. You will not step into any wrong place. No evil wind will come and you can't resist it. Somebody say, I'm winning. You know, I'll say this to most of our children who are vulnerable to anything. You think praying in the morning is a joke? Until the devil do some things in your life, you cannot change. You will know the power of the of praying. The power of seeking God, of having a fervent spirit. Because the supernatural realm answers to spirits. Either you are the spirit of God or you are the spirit of the devil. The supernatural realm answers to spirit. But the spirit of God is the spirit of light. And light shineth in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. Every devil that come around you will disappear. If you hear me, can I hear it loud? Amen. Galatians chapter uh, 4. When your spirit is weak, verse 1, when your spirit is weak, you are like a child. 
as long as you are a child, even though you are the head of the, you are the, you are the prince, you are the one that is to have everything. As long as you are a child, you things are appointed. People are appointed to guide you. He says, he says. Now I say that the hair, as long as he is what a child, different from, different nothing from a servant, though he is the Lord of all. He is the hair. He is the one to sit on the throne tomorrow. But as long as he's a child, he's not different from a servant. Even a servant can come and say, "Come on, get out of that place. Leave here. The child will run. The child will go in." Even though that child is an angel, it's different because he's a child. Verse two. I want to read to verse four. Glory to God. The Bible began to tell us that's how a weak spirit. You are just. You, are, you, you, you have the spirit of God, but you make it weak. You are not there. You are not feeding yourself with the word. You have no command of anything supernatural. He said, but he's under tutors and what governors until the time appointed for the father. He says, even so, we, when we were what? Children, we are in bondage under the elements of this world. When, we, when, when our spirit is not awakened, we are under bondage. Say with me, bondage. Under the elements of this world. Whatever goes on the internet puts you in bondage. Whatever somebody says puts you in confusion. Somebody did not greet you in the morning. Your day is messed up. Hello? Sometimes you hold on to what has no value. You see husband and wife quarreling. What are they quarreling for? They all want the family to be better. Hello? If you ask this one, different. He wants the family to be better. If you ask this one, he wants the family to be better. But how can two people who have the same interests be destroying the family? It's the devil. A weak spirit. You are under bondage. The, the forces. The, you say you are under the what? The elements of this world. Somebody can come and set you up. Somebody can say something in order to provoke you and you fall prey. You declare with me, I'm winning every battle. Hallelujah. But the Bible went for that in verse 4. Glory to God. He said, but when the fullness of time come, God sent his son made of a woman made under the law. God is sending Jesus Christ to rescue your soul so that your body will not suffer your soul will not suffer all the havocs of the enemy I see you bouncing out from all these forces I see you breaking loose oh come on give God a clap of him the way you feed your spirit man is the way strength will come upon you God will establish his strength in you Matthew 4 4 glory to God we must allow ourselves to be built Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 glory to God he said but he answered and said it is written man shall not live by what bread alone but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God the word of God is a spirit and that word that proceeds from the mouth of God that comes into our heart carries us where God has ordained for us. Ephesians chapter 5. Let me read verse 18 and 19 and open our eyes because they, that's for us to come out. We must come out from the word angle. Someone say the word angle. He said don't be drunk with what? Wine there in its essence but be filled with who? Be filled with the spirit. Be filled because the spirit of the devil is sitting in your office. The spirit of darkness is hovering around the street. Somebody possessed to die is on the steering that morning. He's not coming to meet you. Your car will pass. Is somebody hearing my voice? Verse 19. He says, be filled with the spirit. He says, speak. Speaking in what? To yourselves in psalms and hymns with spiritual songs. Singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. So, don't think, oh, you have the spirit power just by going for one prayer meeting and come out. No, you have to maintain it. Everybody say maintain it. One more time. 
gets your spirit so loaded, you walk into your office, somebody is setting you up for a shame, and you are walking on top of that shame and going to heights. Somebody declare every set up this month, I will walk upon them. Shout hallelujah. Even Jesus will not allow his disciples to walk out without defeating the enemy. This week you are defeating every enemy in the invisible or visible realm. Whatever strategy they take, all powers under this element of the world, whatever trick they take, whatever angle they come from, you are empowered to win. Empowered to win. Say with me, the tricks of the enemy. Say with me, the tricks. One more time, the tricks, the devices, the, 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 all the corny angles the devil is coming through. I see you defeating the enemy by their words and by their action. I see you overpowering them. The will of the enemy breaking. The forces of wickedness shattered. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 24, verse 29, uh, verse 49. Jesus called the disciples together and he began to speak to them. He says, and behold, I send the promise of the Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until you be entombed with power from on high. So raise your hands and say, power from on high. Now let me tell you the truth. The weight of that power from on high, it will come and manifest in wisdom. It will manifest in knowledge. It will manifest in ideas. Hallelujah. Somebody will receive strange ideas. Strange ideas. Somebody is trying to talk you down in that office. God is about to give you an idea that will make that place ten times better. Oh, come on. Listen to me. Men of the spirit, they have no competitors. The Bible introduced Daniel. Daniel was the master of magicians and astronomers. Daniel cannot be equated, cannot, cannot be put at the, the Bible says, the book are called Daniel, the head, the one that is a master. Somebody say master. It means where Daniel is, magicians, are, are, they are trying to learn work. By the spirit of God, Jesus said, until you are endued with power, don't get out of your house, be endued with power. Some of the things you are using your head to solve the spirit of God will give you wisdom. I didn't say your knowledge is not important, your certificate, your degrees are not there, but hear me, manipulations of demons, you can't stand it with your degree. Hello? There are forces, powers, and so we must understand all these elemental forces, all these demonic powers, especially from those around our environment, the Lord gave us a word the last time, taking care of the enemy within my space. Somebody say, seize. Enchantments. Seize. Say with me, seize. Divinations. Sorceries. Demonic invocation. All rings and charms and ornaments. Tokens of darkness. Why? You are in tune with power from on high. The more develop your spirit is the more flow and command you carry in the spirit realm. The more authority you carry. When we lay my mother to rest, some demons some, uh, possessed some folks and came and said, uh, 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 they will command rain to fall if we don't give them money. And some of my folks had to come to me and uh, tell me they needed money. I said, you mean those guys have the audacity to come into this place that they want to command rain? When I seek him, I serve the one that owns the rain. Hallelujah. You know, I, I, I'm not asking a man of God just because of a title. It has been proven, man. Child of God, don't give these forces powers. They are threats. There are all sorts of powers that they use that not where you are. We read by the supernatural authority of heaven. Shout a better amen. 
Paul speaking in the book of Romans 8 verse 37 hallelujah for we know in all these things wherever they are in all their forces he said nay in all these things ye are more than what through him that love us through Christ that loves us that word more than a conqueror means we are winners every day come on lift your voice and declare I'm a winner I win every time I'm empowered to win say with me I am more than conqueror over matters I don't even know anything about I may have no idea of what they have planned but I will win them I have no knowledge of what and what they have gone, but I will overcome them. Hallelujah! I don't know how many people they have consulted, but I am more than a conqueror. Why well, I'm empowered to win. I may have no connection, I may have nothing at this moment, but I know whom I believe. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and declare, I am more than a conqueror. How can you be more than a conqueror when your spirit is like a baby? It's weak. Your spirit is too fragile. Your spirit is too tiny. It can't handle anything. And that's why we, we, we need to develop ourselves more than a conqueror spirit. Because when God, even in the Old Testament, Rest his spirit on people. Rest his spirit on man. It was clearly seen. You know, when you look at the story of uh, Jacob and Esau, you begin to want, I don't want to be Esau. I don't want to be, but let me tell you the truth. Look at their later end. As long as they came out of the lungs of who? Who? Isaac. And Isaac from the lungs of who? Abraham. The covenant of God was in their life power. They dominated their time and their season. In Genesis 36 verse 7 about Esau and Jacob, look at their ending. Look at how they ended. How they finally, after all those quarrels, if you see the, how they finally ended and the Bible says, and their riches were more than the, more than what? They might dwell together. Their riches was too much that they, can, they couldn't stay together. And the land we are in, they were strangers, could not bear them because of what? Their cattle. These are the sons of Isaac. Hallelujah. After this one separated, after Jacob came back, are you hearing my voice? That the land, they, they couldn't stay together because their riches were too much. The covenant of God can never be disgraced in your time. What was making them? Even Esau, who cried, who lost his birthright, still said, Father, give me one blessing. Because he knew the power of a spiritual blessing. I bless you. Whatever that has run and above. Do you see? You know one of the blessings that came upon Esau? He says, after a period of time, you will liberate yourself from the yoke. Hallelujah! The Bible says he became blessed that himself and his brothers, they became too rich to stay together. They had to separate. And the land could not bear them. Everywhere you were going, there was no more room to move. They are traffic of wealth. And that I see God taking you somewhere. I see, I see God taking you somewhere. Power showing in dimensions. Their blessings became a massive. Why? Because they won the battle. Jacob was cheated, seven, served another seven years to get his wife. Hallelujah. But yet he left with massive wealth. Heaven is about to turn your story around. But understand the power of the spirit that gives you in puts you in charge in the spirit realm that puts you where forces of darkness Jesus said to his disciples in the book of Luke chapter 9 verse 1 for, to, to prove the power of the almighty that is in Christ Jesus he called the disciples his 12 disciples together and gave them what power and what 
authority over all devils and to cure all diseases. Stretch your hands, everybody. Receive power over all power of the devil and to cure them. Just as, hello, he, when you say give power, he didn't give political power. There are powers that are transmitted by the Spirit. How did Jesus give them power? How did Jesus give these people power? How did Jesus call them and give them power and authority over devils? Say with me, power, authority over devils. Hallelujah. And over all diseases. Verse 2, he went further. Hallelujah. And he said to them, and he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He sent them. He gave them power. He sent them. He gave them power. That's why until you begin to do something for the kingdom, the power cannot be manifested. Your business is not your business. It's the kingdom business. Verse 17 of that Luke. Of Luke chapter 10. 17 of Luke chapter 10. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 10, verse 17. You, we, we see, and, he, and the, he, the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, evil devils were subject unto us through thy name. Their testimony. Somebody say, evil devils. Say it again. That means they saw beyond human beings. Hello. Can I hear your voice? Evil devils subject to me. Say it again. That means you are looking beyond the human factor. Even devils were subject to us. He gave them power and authority. And we have this power by salvation. We have this power within us. The incredible power of God in your life will turn around situation. Will not make you a victim to the will of the enemy. Will not allow the enemy to terminate you early. You will see your time. We look at the Old Testament and we see this power manifest in the life of Samson. Samson, an ordinary man, but had that incredible power. And that power, any power from God is spiritual. Somebody says what? It's spiritual. That incredible power of God on Samson was a spirit flow power. In the book of Judges chapter 14, verse 5, every time there is harassment, Every time there is what? I don't care what it is. Whether it's human beings or animals or spirits. Declare with me, they go down for harassing me. Say it one more time. They go down for harassing me. He says, then something went down and his father and his mother to what? Tell me. And came to what? The vineyard of Tamar. And behold, a young lion roared against him. Roar! A young lion roared against him. And the Bible declared in the next verse, hallelujah. And what happened? Say it again. What roared against him? The right lion roared against him to devour him. But the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him, and he rent him as what it will have been what? The rent of a kid. It's more what? It's a small dog. Hallelujah. And he had nothing in his hand, but he told not his father, nor what his mother, what he had done. I decree, whatever that roars against you shall be swallowed by the power of God. Hear me. Why was this young lion torn into pieces like a small dog? You roared against a man of the spirit. What is roaring against you? Who is intimidating you? Put on your whole armor. Understand that even in the days of Samson, because of his covenant, God pours the spirit. God does what? God does what? He pours the spirit. He releases the spirit. He opens the spirit. Hallelujah. The spirit of the Lord came down and tore that lion in pieces. I see everything challenging you tore in pieces. I say, I say, I see them what? Say, tore the pieces. It's the same 
Judges chapter 15, verse 14. The Bible said, you know, Samson did wickedness to the Philistines. The Philistines are those who constantly envy the saints. And the elders came and tied Samson's hand. And Samson begged the elders of Israel, I beg you, don't touch me. I beg you, do not do anything wicked against me. If you do anything against me, whatever happened to you is on your own. And the Bible said they carried something and handed something over to the Philistines. And the Bible says, look at verse 14. And when he came to what? Liam, the Philistines what? Shouted against him. What did they do? Oh, come on, read the scripture. What did they do? And why? What happened? And the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him. And the court that were what? Upon his arm were like as flakes that burnt with fire. And the bones loose from what? Of his hands. Glory to God. Verse 15. And he found a new jawbone of an ass and put forth his hand and took it and slew a thousand men wherewith. What did they do? They shouted at him. And they were shouting at you. They said, they swallowed up. Swallowed up. Swallowed up. Fear of shouting at you. Whatever that messed up your family cannot mess you up. Whatever that is said to humiliate you shall be devoured by the power of the Holy Ghost. There are men that have risen to humiliate you. So take what God has given you. And you are rising with all your physical weapons. No. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But they are what? Mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. I see God giving you victory. Today, God is going to give somebody victory. Somebody is going to have a victory. I say somebody will have a victory. Hallelujah. I said, somebody must have a victory. The house where you are will rest from war. God will give you victory. God will give you victory. In the days of Gideon, in Gideon chapter, in the book of Judges chapter 6, verse uh, 34, Gideon, the spirit of God came upon him. When the enemies gathered, the Bible says, but the spirit of the Lord came upon Gideon and he blew what? A trumpet and a Israel gathered after him. A whole city. Nobody has come out to be a champion. Nobody has been a leader. The Midianites made everybody to be slave. In the place where there have been no captain, nobody to lead anybody. The Spirit of the Lord came upon the young man. He took the trumpet and blasted the trumpet. Everybody ran to where the trumpet is. Because the sound of a trumpet is the appearance of a Messiah. I declare the Holy Ghost is about to sound a trumpet. In your house, a Messiah is coming up. The wickedness of the wicked must come to an end. But you must develop your spirit. You must wake up in the morning and read your Bible. You must look into the word of God. You must sit down and allow the Holy Ghost. Don't stay out of Bible study. Oh, Friday everybody is fasting and praying for their family, but you are sitting at home. No, it can't work that way. It cannot work that way. God puts his spirit upon us. God wants us to manifest himself. First Samuel chapter 16 verse 13. David was anointed and the spirit of the Lord came upon him. From that day forward, he went on. The spirit of God comes upon us, but we must understand what is required. Number one, put the word of God at work in your life. Put the word of God what? At work in your life. Find the scripture for the day. Don't just get up and begin to move. Oh, as an intelligent man. Oh, very educated man. You have a good job. Oh, my goodness. The enemy can plan anything, anytime. Just call upon the name of the Lord. He said, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it to it and they are saved. Put the word of God at work. Put the word of God, what? At work. 
Can I hear an amen? Number two, be a committed meditation carrier of his word. You meditate on the word. You meditate. You, 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 you are committed to meditation. Be committed to meditate. Sit down. After reading the Bible, what does this scripture mean? What does it mean? So that you can use it. Use scriptures to do some few prayers. I said on Friday when we were praying for families, it's not enough to just stand and say every week, everybody is against my family. Go. You must bring scriptures. Meditate. And hear me. When you are dealing with poverty, when you are dealing with hardship, the book of Psalm 1, Blessed is that man that will not sit with sinners, nor take counsel from the godly, nor the scoffer. But his delight is upon the word of God and do it, he meditate day and night. Hallelujah. Meditate day and night. By the time we meditate day and night, the Bible says in verse 3, that very man will not be like a tree. He shall be like a tree planted by rivers of the living water that bring forth his fruit, what? It juices. His leaves shall not wither. Whatsoever he do it. Whatsoever he do it. If you face any business that is under grace of heaven, you will succeed. Anyone tying down your resources, heaven will fight for you. Meditate on the world. Build up your spirit. Hold on your spirit. Joshua 1.8 God said to Joshua, let this word not depart out of your mouth. Don't let the word of God. Listen to me. Your glamour without the word of God will soon be a shame. Let the Lord not depart from your mouth. But thou shalt what? Meditate therein day and night. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. And then thou shalt have good success. May your way be prosperous. I declare. I say may your way be prosperous. Good success. Success that cannot be argued. Good success. Success that cannot be what? A reproach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good. Somebody shall good success. Sit down on the word. First Timothy chapter 4. You know verse 14. First Timothy chapter 4. Reason with the word of God. Sit down and reason with the word. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given by thy prophets, with laying on hands of the presbytery. Now, verse 15, go further. He says in verse 15, hallelujah, meditate upon these things. Give thyself holy, what? To them. Profiting may appear unto all. Meditate on the word. You walk into that office, their plans will not work. You will know what to do. You will figure it out. Lift your voice and shout aloud. Amen. Amen. Say with me, meditate. Sit down. Find a way to meditate. Behind everyone that meditates on the word is a winner. Is a champion, is an overcomer, is one that we reign. As I'm ministering to you right now, what have you written down? What will you go home with? What will you need before your bed be today? What will you tell God? That is what God will answer you. You are empowered to become what you believe. Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? A loaded spirit, a lifted spirit. Cannot be subdued by the enemy. Rise on your feet. Say, Lord, I'm ready for the supernatural. Oh, come on, lift up your hands. Say, Lord, I am ready for the supernatural. Lift up your hands and say, Father, in any way, every any force on earth is oppressing me. Whatever bondage of the elemental forces. In my life, by the blood of Jesus, I release my mind, I release my body, I release my soul, I release my spirit, I free myself. I will not be a bondage, I will not be in bondage of the elemental spirit. Father, I release myself and I open up myself for the inflow of the Holy Ghost. 
I open up my mind. I open up my spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come upon me. Fill me up. Fill me. Holy Ghost, fill me. Holy Spirit, fill me. Fill my soul. Holy Spirit, fill my body. Every sense, all my five senses of my body, overpower them, overwhelm them. Holy Spirit, fill my mind, all my intellect, all knowledge, everything I have studied, all my degrees, all my skills. Holy Spirit, overwhelm them. Use them for your glory. Now lift up your voice and pray. I'm about to prophesy upon you. A brush full of blood. Holy Spirit, quicken me. Quicken my mortal mind. Holy Spirit, quicken me. Enable me. Empower me. Inspire me. Holy Spirit, strengthen me. And you shall be a Jew with power from on high. in jesus mighty name lift up your hand one more time say father sanctify me holy totally sanctify my spirit sanctify my soul sanctify my body cleanse me purify me holy spirit that you may dwell in me sanctify me sanctify me cleanse me every debt every debt in my heart in my soul in my body purge me open your mouth and pray the holy ghost is limited when our prayers of sanctification is limited father purge me cleanse me take away animosity take away hatred pain any form take it out of me empower me and they brought shatter take away the memories oh lord that are not of your glory zebra katesha heal me completely give me a sound mind and tell about shatale in galabo sheyabakate thank you jesus thank you jesus in jesus name i lift up your hand the last prayer we're going to pray now david said take not the holy ghost from me now lift up your hand whatever sin say with me father whatever sin in my life that limited the holy spirit in my life i repent of that sin holy spirit be restored unto me be restored to my heart be restored to my soul holy spirit come afresh now open your mouth and invite the holy spirit come afresh upon me come on lift your voice and say it holy spirit come afresh i want to pray in the spirit i want to hear in the spirit i want to see in the spirit i want to minister in the spirit holy ghost holy ghost come afresh upon me and do me with power fill me in jesus mighty name we pray now stretch that hand up like somebody who wants to receive something say father release your gifts of the spirits and the fruits of the spirit upon my life in greater measures let me hear your voice the giftings of the spirit skills knowledge ideas the giftings the nine gifts of the spirit father release them in my life father endow me with the giftings of the spirit with the fruits of the spirit let me walk in a higher realm of spiritual encounter in the name of jesus christ stretch your hands to the altar as i prophesy today i release you from every demonic power that has oppressed your soul father a lion roar against samson 
and your spirit came mightily. Ordinary lion. There are demonic lions roaring. There are satanic lions, all sorts of spirits. But from henceforth, let your spirit not come in a lower measure. Let it come in a higher measure. Upon your saints in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fill these vessels. Fill these vessels. Fill these vessels. Whatever a matter, whatever be an issue, whatever be a conspiracy, whatever be a plan, whatever idea that is required, Holy Ghost, fetch it out. Holy Ghost, release it. Lord, Holy Ghost, give that idea. Release that knowledge that is required. Give that revelation that is required. Holy Spirit, open that door. Holy Spirit, make that way. Holy Spirit, manifest in that strange way. In the name of Jesus. Father, let your hand be revealed. And the day of Pentecost was fully come. And they were all in one place and in one accord. And suddenly there was a sound and a rushing mighty wing. And the Spirit of God came down and filled everywhere they are. Father, wherever your children are, let it be filled with the Holy Ghost. Let those who have been hiding from their enemy, hiding from their gift, hiding from their success, hiding from their breakthrough, let them come out confronting it. Whatever that has been a reproach in your life, let it be leveled today. Whatever that has been a mockery in your life, let it be overcome today. Whatever that has been a shame in your life, let victory be given to you. I prophesy victory. I've been seeing keys since last night. I've been seeing keys dropping in the hands. Golden keys dropping in the hands of some folks. Some notable miracles are dropping in some hands right now. And Alebrash, Egebrosh Asa, Atila Usegia. I see Katulebosha. I see fresh water. Fresh water. Fresh water. Fresh water. Fresh water. Source of opportunities. Source of breakthrough. Fresh avenue of success. I see God bringing a new success. A new wave. A new business opportunity. Receive. In the name of Jesus. Receive. In the name of Jesus. Every horrible situation. Let them meet a simple miracle. This day, let the hand of the Lord prevail. For thanks be to God who always caused us to triumph. This morning, you triumph. In the name of Jesus. Give God a hand of praise as we give him praise.